In a world where every mirror and selfie is a reflection of our self-worth, it's easy to become obsessed with the surface. But imagine, just for a moment, that true attractiveness has less to do with what's reflected outwardly and everything to do with what resonates from within. Today, we're going deeper than skin deep, exploring how the ancient philosophy of Stoicism doesn't just prepare us for life's challenges, but also makes us profoundly more attractive to those around us. Stoicism teaches us that our control over our perceptions and actions is the truest form of beauty, one that draws people in because it emanates strength, stability, and serenity, qualities that are universally appealing. As we dive into these transformative concepts, remember, this isn't just about changing how others see you, it's about changing how you see yourself. It's about aligning your outward demeanor with your inner virtues, leading to a charisma that is both authentic and enduring. Join me as we unpack 10 Stoic practices that will not only enhance your attractiveness, but will enrich your life with deeper connections and genuine satisfaction. This journey is for those who seek to cultivate a presence that is felt not just seen, a presence that makes a profound impact in every room they enter. If you appreciate the deeper dive into how ancient wisdom can transform modern lives, a simple free favor I'd ask is to hit the subscribe button and stay with us throughout this entire video. You won't want to miss a single part of this journey into real attractiveness. Let's get started. Tip number one. Engage in interesting activities. When you immerse yourself in activities driven by genuine curiosity rather than the pursuit of fame or financial gain, you develop a fascinating array of experiences that naturally make you more interesting to others. This isn't just about adding to your list of hobbies. It's about cultivating a vibrant spirit and an engaging character that others are drawn to. Such a lifestyle fosters a magnetic energy that is both attractive and inspiring. Stoicism teaches us the value of living fully and authentically, advising that we focus on personal growth and internal fulfillment rather than external rewards. This philosophy aligns with the idea that by engaging in diverse experiences, we not only enhance our personal development, but also our social allure. You see, when you have a wealth of experiences to draw from, your conversations can become more captivating and substantive. People naturally gravitate towards those who can share intriguing stories and insights, making you a more appealing and memorable individual. Moreover, embracing a variety of activities can also help you develop resilience and adaptability, key stoic virtues. Each new experience teaches you a little more about yourself and the world, challenging you to think differently and approach life with a fresh perspective. This kind of engagement with the world enriches your spirit, something the Stoics saw as essential to living a life that's not only fulfilling, but also morally and ethically profound. So, take a leaf out of the Stoic book. Live fully, explore new horizons, and let your life be an adventure that continually contributes to your growth. This approach not only makes you richer in experiences, but inherently more attractive and influential to those you meet. It's about being vibrant, active, and deeply engaged with life, qualities that truly enhance your appeal and lead to a more profound and connected existence. Tip number two, smile genuinely. When you smile genuinely, it sends a universal signal of warmth and openness. It's a simple gesture, yet it carries profound effects. A sincere smile can break down walls of indifference or skepticism. In the realms of Stoic thought, such a smile is an expression of acceptance and understanding, reflecting a state of inner harmony that you've cultivated through thoughtful introspection and self-control. This isn't just about curving your lips upward. It's about allowing that inner calm you've developed 
a fundamental Stoic achievement to shine outwardly. Consider the barriers we face in everyday interactions, misunderstandings, preconceptions, and the invisible walls we build around ourselves for protection. A warm smile serves as a peaceful invitation through those barriers. It tells others that you are not just approachable, but also compassionate and considerate. This makes you more attractive, not only in a physical or superficial sense, but in a deeper, more meaningful way. People are drawn to those who exude a sense of peace because it is comforting and often inspiring. Moreover, smiling genuinely helps to foster connections. It encourages trust and openness in others, facilitating more authentic interactions. This is crucial in both personal relationships and professional environments. The Stoics believed that true connections were built on the foundations of mutual respect and understanding, qualities that are often initiated and reinforced by a heartfelt smile. As you go about your day, remember the power of a simple smile. It is a reflection of your inner peace and a bridge to deeper connections. By practicing this, you align yourself with Stoic ideals, promoting not just your own tranquility, but also contributing to a more harmonious environment around you. So smile genuinely with the intent not just to appear friendly, but to truly connect and spread the serenity that you cultivate within. This not only enhances your attractiveness, it enriches your interactions and brings a little more light into the lives of those you meet. Tip number three, dress with purpose. The Stoics understood the importance of maintaining a presentable appearance, not as a means of impressing others, but as a way to express self-regard and orderliness. Clean, well-fitted and simple clothing doesn't shout for attention, yet it speaks volumes about the wearer's respect for themselves and the situation at hand. By choosing outfits that are neat and appropriate, you reinforce a sense of confidence and self-assurance, both to yourself and those you meet. This isn't about vanity or materialism. It's about honoring the body that carries you through life and the social contexts in which you find yourself. Moreover, dressing with purpose has a psychological effect known as enclothed cognition, which suggests that the clothes you wear can influence your psychological processes. Wearing clothes that you believe make you look good can actually boost your performance in tasks by increasing your confidence and focus. This is perfectly aligned with Stoic philosophy, which promotes living with intention and ensuring that every action, including dressing, serves a purpose towards your greater goals of personal excellence and tranquility. So, consider the wardrobe choices you make as part of your daily practice of Stoicism. Each morning, as you select what to wear, Think of it as a ritual where you prepare not just your appearance, but also your mindset for the day ahead. Choose clothes that feel authentic to who you are, that resonate with the tranquility and order you strive to cultivate in your life. In doing so, you set a tone not only for how others will perceive you, but also for how you perceive yourself. Dressing with purpose is an act of self-care and an affirmation of your values. Tip number four, cultivate a positive vibe. Laughter and positivity do more than just make us feel good. They are powerful tools for managing stress and overcoming life's inevitable lows. Stoicism teaches us that it's not the events themselves that disturb us, but our reactions to them. By choosing to focus on positive aspects, to find reasons to laugh and smile, we're practicing a form of stoic mindfulness, focusing on what we can control, including our mood and outlook. This isn't about denying or suppressing negative feelings, but recognizing that our focus determines our reality. When we commit to a positive vibe, we're actively deciding to prioritize joy and optimism, which can help alleviate our own suffering and also make us more approachable and relatable to others. 
This aligns with the Stoic ideal of community and mutual support, emphasizing that our well-being is interconnected with that of others. Moreover, laughter is universally recognized as therapeutic. It not only reduces stress, but also releases endorphins, promotes an overall sense of well-being, and can even temporarily relieve pain. It strengthens bonds between people, creating a sense of camaraderie and closeness. This shared joy can foster a supportive network, reflecting the stoic principle that true strength is found in unity rather than in isolation. By making an effort to cultivate a positive vibe, you're not only enhancing your own resilience, but also contributing to a healthier, more supportive environment for everyone around you. It's a practice of looking at life through a lens of gratitude and cheerfulness, which, in turn, attracts positivity from others and makes you a beacon of light in your community. In this way, cultivating a positive vibe becomes a personal testament to living according to Stoic virtues, wisdom, justice, courage, and moderation each day. Tip number five. Develop confidence through competence. The process begins with introspection, a practice highly valued in Stoicism. It involves a deep dive into understanding who you are, acknowledging your strengths, and openly recognizing areas where you can improve. This honest self-assessment is crucial because it sets the stage for genuine self-improvement rather than a mere facade of confidence. In the words of the Stoic philosopher Epictetus, first say to yourself what you would be and then do what you have to do. This profound guidance encourages us to envision our ideal self and then take concrete steps towards realizing that vision through action and education. As you develop skills and refine your abilities, your competence in various areas of life grows. This increase in competence naturally leads to a stronger sense of confidence because you are no longer pretending to be capable, you know you are. This type of confidence is incredibly attractive to others as it conveys a sense of stability, reliability and strength. It's not just about feeling good about yourself, it's about being able to handle life's challenges with grace and effectiveness, which in turn makes you someone others are drawn to and want to rely on. Moreover, confidence rooted in competence provides a stable foundation that is not easily shaken by external circumstances. Unlike superficial confidence, which can waver in the face of adversity, the self-assurance developed through mastery and self-awareness is resilient. It allows you to navigate through life's ups and downs with a calm composure, reflecting the stoic ideal of remaining undisturbed by external events while maintaining focus on your own efforts and growth. This kind of confidence also enhances your interactions with others. People are naturally attracted to individuals who exude a genuine sense of self-assurance. It creates a magnetic pull, encouraging others to trust and respect you because they see your capability and self-possession. In essence, when you focus on developing your skills and understanding yourself better, you're not just improving your abilities. You're enhancing the quality of your relationships and broadening your impact on the world around you. Tip number six, listen actively and ask questions. The Stoics believed that to truly listen to another person is to give them one of the greatest respects you can offer. It involves more than just hearing words. It's about understanding the emotions and intentions behind those words. When you actively listen, you're fully present in the conversation, not just waiting for your turn to speak, but genuinely engaging with the other person's thoughts and feelings. This kind of engagement shows that you value their perspective and consider their experiences important, which can be incredibly validating and attractive. Asking thoughtful questions is an extension of active listening. It demonstrates your interest in delving deeper into the lives and minds of others. Questions can be powerful tools, 
that not only clarify understanding, but also deepen connections. They allow you to learn more about the person you're communicating with, showing that you're not merely interested in superficial interactions, but in truly getting to know them. This level of engagement is appealing because it makes others feel respected, understood and valued. Moreover, the stoic practice of listening and asking questions encourages a reciprocal exchange of ideas and feelings, which fosters a sense of community and support. In Stoicism, the community is integral to personal development. By supporting others, we enhance our own lives and contribute to a more harmonious society. When people feel listened to and understood, they are more likely to reciprocate, leading to stronger, more meaningful relationships. Incorporating these practices into your daily interactions can significantly enhance how attractive you are perceived to be. It shifts the focus from trying to be interesting to being interested, which is a trait that draws people in. By showing genuine curiosity and respect for others' thoughts and experiences, you embody the stoic ideal of leading a thoughtful and virtuous life, one that is not only self-fulfilling, but also enriching to those around you. Tip number seven, master your body language. Your posture, gestures, and facial expressions plays a critical role in communication. It can often say much more than your words by conveying your true feelings and intentions. For instance, a confident, relaxed posture not only makes you more approachable, but also signals self-assurance and openness. This kind of posture invites others to interact with you, creating a welcoming atmosphere around you. On the other hand, a closed-off posture, such as crossed arms, avoiding eye contact or slouching, can suggest that you are uninterested, defensive or insecure. These signals might push people away, often without you even realizing it. The Stoics emphasized the importance of congruence between internal virtues and external expressions. By aligning your physical expressions with your internal states, you embody the Stoic ideal of authenticity. When your body language reflects true confidence, not arrogance or pretense, it communicates stability and reliability, qualities that naturally attract others. This is because people are drawn to individuals who are both self-assured and genuine. These traits foster trust and create a sense of safety. Practicing mindfulness in how you carry yourself can greatly enhance your interactions. This involves not only being aware of your body language, but actively working to improve it. For example, maintaining good posture, using open gestures, and making appropriate eye contact are all ways to demonstrate engagement and confidence. By doing so, you are not just practicing stoic principles, but also enhancing your personal charisma. Moreover, Mastering body language can help you better control your reactions in various situations, a key aspect of Stoic training. The Stoics believed that our responses should be measured and thoughtful, reflecting our reasoned judgments rather than impulsive emotions. By controlling your physical responses, you can maintain composure in challenging circumstances, which in turn helps you to respond more effectively. Tip number eight breathe and relax. When you're faced with moments of anxiety or tension, your natural reaction might be to tighten up, both mentally and physically. This reaction can lead to shallow, rapid breathing, which only exacerbates feelings of stress and often results in a body language that appears tense and unapproachable. However, by consciously shifting to deep, controlled breathing, you can activate your body's natural relaxation response. This change in breathing pattern helps to slow down your heart rate and lower your blood pressure, effectively calming your nerves and allowing you to regain control. Stoic exercises often include mindfulness practices that focus on breathing because they help realign your physical responses with your mental intentions. For Stoics, 
The goal is to remain undisturbed by external circumstances by fostering an inner sanctum of calm and resilience. By adopting deep breathing techniques, you not only manage your stress, but also ensure that your outward demeanor reflects poise and assurance rather than panic or distress. Moreover, the act of taking deep breaths does more than just calm you down. It also makes you appear more present and engaged in your interactions. When you are relaxed and centered, your body language opens up. You're more likely to maintain eye contact, your movements are more fluid, and your posture more stable. These changes make you significantly more attractive because they signal that you are confident and in control of your environment. This practice of breathing and relaxing is not only beneficial in managing immediate stress, but also contributes to a long-term lifestyle of mindfulness and self-control. As you incorporate these breathing exercises into your daily routine, you'll find that you're able to handle life's challenges with greater ease and grace. This not only enhances your personal well-being, but also improves how others perceive you. You become someone known for your calm demeanor and ability to stay grounded, even in high-pressure situations, which are incredibly appealing traits. Tip number nine, use names wisely. When you use someone's name during a conversation, you do more than just get their attention. You convey that you see them as an individual, not just another face in the crowd. This can significantly deepen the connection between speakers as it makes the interaction feel more personal and considered. In the context of Stoicism, using a person's name reflects the philosophy's focus on mindfulness and the conscious engagement in each moment. By consciously choosing to use names, you're practicing the Stoic principle of being present and attentive to the situation at hand. Moreover, using names wisely helps to build rapport and trust. It shows that you have taken the effort to remember someone's name, which is a small but significant act that can set the foundation for stronger, more positive relationships. This practice not only enhances social interactions, but also feeds into the stoic idea of community and support, where each individual's identity is acknowledged and valued. In professional settings, this becomes even more critical. Addressing colleagues, clients, or even acquaintances by their names during meetings or casual encounters can create a more inviting atmosphere. It also signals competence and confidence, traits that are highly valued in any professional field. From a Stoic viewpoint, it demonstrates your commitment to living according to principles of virtue and respect for others, reflecting a character that is consistent and grounded in ethical practices. Furthermore, remembering and using names correctly can often make people feel respected and included, reducing social barriers and enhancing the overall communication experience. It makes people more open to engagement and more likely to respond positively, which in turn facilitates smoother and more effective interactions. Tip number 10. Be authentic and vulnerable. Authenticity makes you approachable and relatable, breaking down the barriers that often keep people at a distance. When you are true to yourself, others are more likely to trust you and feel comfortable sharing their own truths. This mutual openness is the foundation of genuine connections, which are far more rewarding and enduring than those based on superficial facades. In Stoic philosophy, these authentic relationships are essential as they align with the virtues of wisdom and justice, promoting a life of harmony and mutual respect. Vulnerability while often seen as a weakness in contemporary society, is actually a strength in the Stoic view. It involves acknowledging your own limitations and struggles openly, without fear of judgment. By showing vulnerability, you demonstrate humility and courage, traits highly valued in Stoicism. This openness not only humanizes you, but also invites others to engage with you on a deeper level fostering a sense of solidarity and support. Moreover, by being authentic and vulnerable, 
you encourage others to do the same, which can lead to more meaningful and supportive interactions. This practice is particularly important in today's world, where many feel pressured to maintain an image of perfection. By choosing to be real, you challenge this norm and contribute to a more authentic, collective experience. Furthermore, Stoicism teaches that our reactions to external circumstances should be guided by internal wisdom. When you are true to yourself, your responses become more thoughtful and less reactive, based on a solid understanding of your principles and values. This not only enhances your relationships, but also leads to a more content and fulfilled life, as you align your actions with your true self. Embracing authenticity and vulnerability is not just about making connections. It's about living a life that's consistent with stoic virtues. It requires courage and wisdom, but leads to a more genuine and satisfying existence. By being true to yourself and open with others, you create an environment where real connections can flourish, enriching both your life and the lives of those around you. As we journey through life, Remember that the true measure of our attractiveness lies not just in how we are seen, but in how we see and respond to the world around us. Stoicism teaches us to embrace our authentic selves and live with integrity, allowing us to connect deeply and meaningfully with others. Thank you for joining us today at Stoic Journal and for embracing the path of self-discovery and genuine interaction. Please take a moment to explore one of the suggested videos on your screen to continue deepening your understanding of Stoic principles and practices. And once again, thank you for being part of our Stoic Journal community. Your presence here is not just valued, it is essential. Together, let's continue to grow, reflect and cultivate a life worth living.